Take like question number one. In explaining the indication for the use of the medication Ticlid, the nurse enumerates which of the following conditions. Select all that apply. Option A, post-cerebral vascular accident. Option B, post-liver transplant. Option C, post-abdominal trauma. Option D, post-myocardial infarction. Option E, post-coronary revascularization. Or option F, post-coronary stent implantation. Looking at the answer options, option A, post-cerebrovascular accident, is an ischemic stroke and is usually caused by a thrombus or a clot occluding one or more cerebral artery. Ticlid works by making the blood vessels less likely to clot, which hopefully would prevent another stroke. Options B and C, post-liver transplant and post-abdominal trauma, Ticlid should not be taken by individuals with severe liver disease or post-abdominal trauma Due to increased risk of hemorrhage, it is not used for clients who are at risk for bleeding due to trauma, surgery, or pathological conditions. Option D, myocardial infarction, an MI can be caused by a clot in an artery. So Ticlid in this case would be a therapeutic treatment and the prevention of another MI by decreasing the risk of another clot from forming. Option E, post-coronary revascularization, Ticlid would promote, in this case, revascularization. In option F, Ticlid is very helpful for many that have coronary stents because it prevents platelet aggregation, so thus prevention of a clot to form on the stent. So the correct answer options are A, D, E, and F because all of these are possible indications for the use of Ticlid. It is also used for prophylaxis or in combination following a myocardial infarction, coronary revascularization, stents, and brain attacks, which is also known as strokes. All right guys, stay tuned. In the next hours or days, we're going to be posting the next question. See you in a bit.